Hey, I'm Brian Van, SportByTrackGear.com, and today we're going to do a product review on the all-new HJC i90 Modular Helmet. The HJC i90 Modular Helmet retails from 188 to 215 depends on if you want a solid color or a graphic helmet. Please understand that we don't update the videos if pricing has changed, only if the helmet itself has been 100% redesigned. If you've been to my channel or our site previously, you probably already know we're more of a sport bike focused company. What motivated me to review this i90 Modular was its integration with the all new Cena Smart HJC Bluetooth devices. I've got two install videos right now in an i10 and an F70 full face with the 10B and the 20B. I was so impressed by that, I thought it merited bringing in the modular to have a look at that as well. Who is this helmet right for? This helmet is right for anybody shopping for a new modular helmet. You wanna get a great helmet, but you wanna keep it in that $200 price range. Also, if you're considering a Bluetooth device, I think this really then is one to look at. It weighed 3.8 pounds in a size medium on our digital shipping scale. It is both DOT and ECE certified. Let's dive into sizing. I measure 58 centimeters on the money with an intermediate oval head shape. I would say this helmet has an intermediate oval head shape. The size medium fit me perfectly, as I said earlier in this video. The fit and feel of this helmet is excellent. I love the fabrics that they use. They are so comfortable, felt great against the skin. I think HJC really hit a home run with that part. Glasses compatibility. We're gonna show you some close-ups, getting the glasses in and what it takes. There are channels in there. You have to fiddle just a little bit with it, but once you get it dialed in, the glasses are going to rest in a very comfortable place and stay on the bridge of your nose. Features and benefits, let's start off with ventilation. Large intake vent here on the top of the helmet. Your exhaust for this is gonna be back here. The intake vent here in the chin area, that is going to direct air up onto the shield right here by the breath deflector. The shield itself has a central lock. I like that, it's really easy to use. There's tabs on either side so you can comfortably raise the shield, no problem. The modular mechanism. They are using metal pieces, right? Both the clips and the pins are metal. It's a nice smooth action. And as you can see up here at the very top, you have a really strong detent. So if you're one of those riders that you're going to do a little bit of riding with this thing in the open face position, it's going to hold itself there nicely. You're not going to have to worry about that at all. This is a polycarbonate shell helmet. There are multiple shell sizes. As of the time we're shooting this video, we simply just don't have the breakdown from HJC of, of you know, which sizes equate to which shell. But at the end of the day, you can see here that in a size medium, the exterior profile of this helmet is really not very big, especially for a modular. One thing HJC really accomplished with this one is they got it to look like a full face helmet. You really can't tell you know that this is a modular at the first glance. Even the diffuser back here for the exhaust vent, I think that in itself is a nice touch. The shield is pin lock ready. If you want to purchase the pin lock insert for true fog free performance, you're able to do that. This also includes a drop down cable driven dark tinted inner shield. Smooth operation and at the upward most position there is a nice detent built in to make sure that it stays in place as well. The interior of this helmet is excellent. It, it, it's super comfortable. The fabrics feel great. I'm going to rave about the fit one more time. There is a chin curtain that kind of velcros into place here. You know, if I'm going to knock anything on this helmet, you know, I just don't love the velcro in chin curtains. At the end of the day, you slide it in there and sure it gets its job done. You know, I probably would have rather seen snaps or something a little bit more robust. But in the end, I put it in, I raised it up and down, and it definitely seals this up and seems to do its job quite well. I'd also like to point out these curtains that are kind of coming down off of the neck roll portion of the cheek pad. 
HJC went through some, you know, the process here of making sure that in this area that they're really sealing this up from the cheek pad area into the neck roll and the base of the neck. That helps to keep the helmet quiet. Once again, I'm not going to be road testing this one, so those of you who have purchased an I-90, right, or will, once you ride in it, please take the time to leave in the comments section of this video what your experience with this helmet would be. That would certainly be helpful to other modular helmet riders out there in the future. We've got a double D-ring retention system, fully removable, washable, replaceable liner. Next up, I'm going to show you what it takes to disassemble the helmet and give you a closer look from the inside out. Okay, let's begin with the shield. To remove the shield, raise it all the way into the utmost position. I want you to grab this trigger here and you're going to pull down and then pull out on the shield. Repeat the process on the other side, pull down on the trigger, pull out on the shield, off it comes. As I said earlier, this is a pin lock prepared shield. It is designed to accept the pin lock insert. You'll find those merchandised on our website. This is the HJ31 shield to reinstall the shield. Once again, put it into position like so, and you want to get it so that it's kind of mimicking that upward most position, and then just put a little pressure in towards the helmet. You'll find the shield's going to jump right into place. Before you go out and ride in it, what I like to recommend, operate the shield a couple of times to make sure you have both sides clipped in just right. For the interior, anytime I'm going to service the interior of a helmet, whether it's going to be to install a Bluetooth device or to pull it out and wash it, I always like to remove the shield. It just helps reduce the possibility of you scratching the shield. Go ahead and raise the chin bar all the way in the utmost position. If you don't have this little helmet donut like I have here to service your stuff, just take a towel, lay down the surface that you're working on. It'll help you prevent from scratching the helmet. To remove the cheek pads, you need to slide your fingers in between the EPS of the helmet and the backing of the cheek pad. There are three snaps. Put a little pressure in there. Each one of those snaps will be released. Now with this cheek pad, you want to grab it right about here, and I want you to pull back and out at the same time. And when you have it, you'll feel this jump out. You can kind of see the angle they have here on this. That's why you need to pull back just a little bit instead of just pulling straight out. Pull back, then out. Once you've done that, you can grab your chin strap, pull it through, pull this out. Let's take a look at this cheek pad. I have no idea what this zipper's here for, right? It needs to be in the open position so you can pass through the uh, chin straps. But when you have this in your hand, the fabric once again feels great. And you can really get a sense for the thickness they built in here to keep this helmet comfortable and to help make it more quiet. To remove the other cheek pad, it's just a mirror image of what you already did. Once again, kind of grab here, pull back. That might even help a little bit to just pull the chin strap through first. So pull back and out like so. To remove the top pad, we've got two snaps here at the back. Once you have those loose, come up here to the front. You may need to put your thumbnail in here and just lift up on these tabs. Some of them will just come loose, others might hold on a little tighter. And what you don't want to do is you don't want to damage that because that is a non-replaceable part. Here is the top pad. You can see the quality of the liner looks fantastic. HJC did a good job with that. Looking inside the helmet now, you can see the channeling they built into the EPS here. Your ventilation, two exhaust vents back here, two intake vents here. You know, at the end of the day, is this a, a massively ventilated helmet? No. Anytime you have something like a modular with a drop-down inner shield in it, you're unable to put ventilation up here in the brow area, so that does compromise the ventilation performance just a little bit, and that's kind of an understood thing with helmets that offer the drop-down inner screen, that you're just not going to get the same level of performance from the ventilation system. With that said, these have proven to be effective, and HJC has taken steps to help make up for the fact that you can't put holes here in the brow. If you see these channels right here that are run all the way down, what that allows to happen is when the air comes in here, it can move down in this area as well. 
Also, if you have an air coming in through the chin area up onto the shield, it can come up in here, get sucked out the back. It's as effective as it can possibly be. Direct integration for that Cena Smart HJC. You'll see right here are the speaker pockets. Can you catch that, Caleb? Channeling for the wires. The unit itself installs back here. You remove that plate. For the mic, you use a boom mic on a modular. You're able to clip that in place. It holds itself in there nicely. I've already installed it. We're gonna do one on camera too, so you can have a look at it. And I really think that unit is a great complement to this helmet. Oh no, what do I think? You know, I think for a price point modular helmet, HJC was able to come out with a product that sells for a reasonable price, looks really good, fits freaking amazing, right? I believe this is absolutely worth the purchase price. If you have any questions, just leave those in the comments section of this video. Please understand I'm here to help you get the most from your next helmet purchase.